Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now I swear this wasn't planned. This is legit my pyjama t-shirt. <laughs> I was just like, I need to film an intro to this video, and then I was like, oh no, people are gonna think I've gotten into costume because this video is all about Huel, but that is not the case. I've just finished editing this video, just wanna put an intro. I'm trying all the different Huel products, except for the Black Edition powder, because I've already tried that in another Huel video, which you can watch if you click the cards on the top right-hand side of the screen. But yeah, let's just get straight into it. Right, the first product I'm gonna try is this iced coffee caramel Huel shake. So it's a meal replacement shake. I've never had a Huel shake before from a bottle. Um, I've only ever had the black, uh, what's it called? The black edition powder. I was gonna have one of the, ow. I was gonna have one of these the other day, but because it was 400 calories aimed to replace a full meal, I was gonna have it in addition to like my lunch. And then I was like, no, I can't just find an extra 400 calories. So. I've saved it for today. I've just arrived back from my parents' house and I've got a really busy day today. I need to rush straight to the gym before my dentist appointment and I don't have time to make lunch here. So I could grab lunch at Pret, but then I was like, oh, but then I've got to like brush my teeth because I'll have eaten food. So I was like, this is actually like the perfect alternative because I won't be chewing food and I don't have time to grab lunch. So this is gonna save me a lot of time. Anyway. You're supposed to serve it chilled, but I have not chilled this, so I'm gonna pour it into a glass with some ice and enjoy it that way. It says 22 grams of protein, 26 vitamins and minerals, and it's low in sugar, and yeah, you can tell from the back, it's 400 calories per bottle. Just about fits, there's a little bit more in there. Right, let's give this a go. Oh my gosh, that's really nice. It would be even nicer if I had chilled it in the fridge before. But it tastes just like a nice coffee. Well, not just like a nice coffee. It's not, the coffee is not as strong a flavor as I would like it, because I like black coffee. But it's definitely got a taste of coffee and it's nice and sweet as well, which is good. What I like about Huel, from my experiences so far, is that they don't taste good for you. <laughs> Um, like they don't taste like they've got loads of protein and low sugar, like they genuinely taste like a treat, which as someone with a sweet tooth, that is amazing. I love it. Mmm, really like that. The next, I've got a cinnamon swirl flavor of this, which I will also show you in another on another day. But yeah, I mean, the, the proof is in the pudding. We'll see how full this makes me and if I can last till dinner, because it is 12.15, so it's not even quite lunchtime yet. Um, but we'll see how long it lasts. Right, I'm just walking back from the gym and the dentist, listening to Diary of a CEO, which I love. Anyway, just thought I'd update you. So it's now four o'clock. It's been four hours since I had the shake. And to be honest, it's been quite filling. I haven't, like, I could eat right now, but I'm not feeling ravenous. Um, and considering since I had the shake, I've probably been walking for over an hour and I did an hour and 15 workout. And all I've eaten today is the shake. I didn't even have breakfast. I think that's pretty good going. So yeah, I'm very, very pleased with that. The next day. It is time to try one of these Huel bars. Let me get a close up of it. This is the Complete Nutrition Bar. This is a salted caramel flavor. Looking on the back, it's 200 calories and it's 12 grams of protein. Compare that to a grenade bar and a grenade bar has similar calories. This is 220 calories. So it's 20 calories more, but it's like double the protein, 23 grams of protein. So. I don't really know what Huel are trying to do with these. I'm guessing, again, this is like complete nutrition, whereas this is like full of additives. Bit confused of why you would go for a Huel bar over a grenade bar, but let's give it a go. Ignore my hair, guys. I haven't done it today. Right, let's open it. Ooh. Oh, maybe that's the difference. You can tell it's all made of natural stuff. You can see like the nuts in it and bits of fruit. So maybe that is what they have above and over grenade is that it's actually good for you. I thought I'd hate it because it reminds me of a naked bar and some naked bars are really good, others are disgusting. This isn't disgusting. It's definitely not as delicious as a grenade bar, but then again, if it is healthier for you and full of, you know, less additives, then, then it, you know, it's not bad. Now I know this isn't supposed to be comparable to the shakes, but Considering how delicious the shakes were, much more delicious than other brands of shake that I've tried, this bar is definitely not anything super special. Again, could be the flavor. I do have another flavor bar, which I'll try in another clip. Um, but yeah, so far I'd say, yeah, it's fine. Would I choose it above a normal protein bar, even though it's healthier? Probably not. 
Right, I'm gonna give you a quick taste test of the other flavor, Cinnamon Swirl. This has been in the fridge for two days now, so hopefully it's a bit nicer, colder. Um, it does say that on the bottle, so let's just give it a go. But I won't labor the points, you've already seen me talk about this. That's nice. If you like really sweet stuff, and if you like cinnamon, this is good. I can imagine like my mum would taste this and go, ooh, it's too sweet. I don't think too sweet exists. I love the sweeter the better. Yeah, and it's definitely a lot better when it's been in the fridge for a few days. So I've got a work call now, so I'm going to drink that on my call. Let's go. Right, today is the day I am trying the Huel Savory range. So, I apologise if I'm wearing the same t-shirt. I, I can't remember what, what I was wearing last time I filmed. I promise I do wear other clothes. So this is the flavour I went for. I went for Cajun Pasta. Let's give this a go. So apparently all you do is add water to it and it's around 400 calories per serving and 25 grams of protein. So it's not as high in protein as the shakes and it's about the same calories as the shakes. So, well, the black edition. The black edition is like 40 grams, isn't it? Something like that. But this is savoury, so I'm not always in the mood for a sweet shake. Sometimes I actually want a savoury meal, so let's try it. Right, while the kettle's boiling, it says to shake up the pack to get it all mixed. It does say one scoop is 200 calories, so you can have a smaller serving if you want, but then it's half the protein, which I really don't want. Right, where's the scoop? This is the worst part. How do you find the scoop? I don't think there's a scoop in this bag. I've been shaking it, I've been squeezing it. There's no scoop. How stupid. There's legit no scoop in here. Okay, well, I know it's about, it's about 100 grams that I want. Well, just under 98 grams, so let me just do that. Adding 200 mil. I think you give it a stir and you just let it sit for a bit. Okay, it says to cover it for five minutes, so I guess you let the steam sit in there, so I'll just leave that. Right, here we go. It sat for a bit. Oh, it is cooked. Um, right, let's give it a go. The flavour is really nice. It's a bit spicy, which is why I chose it. It definitely needs salt, but I think that's a really good thing that they don't make it super salty, because obviously that's just personal taste, and I personally put salt on like everything probably too much. Um, so, I'm sorry Huel for ruining your recipe, but I love salt. Mm -hmm. That's better. I really like that. And it's a treat to have pasta, because I never have pasta. So the fact that this is pasta, but in a healthy way, is really good. The only downside I'd say is that this says it only contains seven portions. I'll put the cost of it on screen per bag, but you can't just order one bag as far as I'm away. You've got to do a minimum order. but. It works out this much per bag, and there's only seven portions, which means this would last you a week. You can make up your mind if that's worth it. But in terms of the taste, really, really like it. Downside is, needed a bit of salt, and there was no scoop in the bag. Mm. Mm -mm. I love it. Okay, so just finished, and uh, I definitely feel full straight away, which is a really good sign for me, because I have a never-ending appetite. <laughs> and I ate that really quickly, which technically, I shouldn't feel full for another 20 minutes until it hits my stomach. But for some reason I do feel full. I'll let you know in a few hours, I'll give you an update on my appetite levels. But yeah, on the whole, I'm pleased. 400 calories for lunch, fine. 25 grams of protein, yeah. Would kind of hope for at least 30, but 25, can't complain. Right, it's the same day, I'm back from the gym. I, that's all I've eaten today, is that Huel. And I've done a workout, I still feel full. Like I don't feel full, I could eat, but I feel like, I don't feel hungry. And normally I'm a real snacker. Well I did just buy these from Sainsbury's, but I don't want to eat them right now. I'm like, I might save them for tomorrow. So basically what I'm going to do now is have a Huel protein shake. So I have actually tried these protein shakes before and I really, really liked them, but that was over a year ago and it was a strawberries and cream flavor and the chocolate fudge flavor. And I like them because they're thick. Um, but let's try this. I bought the salted caramel flavor. Let's give it a go. Nutritionally complete, 20 grams of protein, 26 vitamins and minerals, 105 calories. Now the normal protein shakes I have are from my protein. I usually get it because you can get massive bags and they're quite cheap. Um, I do think these were quite expensive from Huel, but having had them before, I know that I like them. Let's try and find a scoop. This is always the worst part. Let's hope this one actually has a scoop, unlike the savory one. There we go. Just to try and show you the kind of thickness, I'm gonna pour it into a glass. Obviously I wouldn't normally do that, but. 
So it isn't like, obviously the less water you add, the thicker it will be, but I don't know if you could see that, but it is just a bit more gloopy than the my protein ones. And it tastes really good. This is exactly what I remembered from trying these last time. They're really sweet, they taste a bit like dessert. They're not like the other protein shakes from my protein. I love them because they're effective, but I just down it and down it and down it because I hate the taste of it, no matter what flavor I try. This actually tastes really nice. And if my freezer wasn't broken and I had ice cubes, I'd chuck a few ice cubes in here and take my time drinking it. But my freezer has broken during a heat wave, which is fantastic. I wonder what other flavors they do. This says it's got 26 servings, so this would last you about a month, I reckon. So not too bad, but it, it is definitely a bit more expensive than what you could get. But I suppose you get what you pay for. And that is all the products I'm going to try today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. Whether you've tried Huel before and you want to try some new products, or if you've never tried it, my last Huel video went down really, really well, so I decided to do another one, seeing as Huel launched some new products. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. I post videos every single week. If you've got any other products, that you want me to try, not just Huel, but any other brands, any other companies, let me know because I'm always up for being a guinea pig. I love being a guinea pig. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.